Good morning and welcome to Acts chapter 6. This chapter starts off with an argument. The church has grown rapidly and as often happens, details get misplaced and sometimes there is confusion. First of all, we see that there's arguments over some widows getting more food than others. We have to remember the early church was full of people from lots of different countries and backgrounds. We've got our Jews and we've got our Gentiles. But we know that Jerusalem was also a hodgepodge of cultures and nationalities. There'd be different languages in this church, so confusion was happening. The apostles quite rightly thought we cannot take time away from our preaching and our teaching to deal with this. And so they appointed a group of people to oversee this to make sure everyone was being treated fairly, everyone was getting the food, and basically to oversee any arguments or complaints that there were. Today, we would often term these people as the deacons within the church. One of these deacons was called Stephen. He was one of the men that was deemed godly to oversee all the practical stuff within the church. However, in the very next paragraph, we read that actually Stephen was performing signs and wonders. He was doing the work of an apostle. He was going out and he was preaching. And so these deacons were not just doing the practical day-to-day -day stuff, but we know that Stephen, at least, was actually also going out and speaking the word of God. Sometimes we can get pigeonholed. Sometimes, particularly within a church or within a job, we think, oh gosh, people only think I'm good enough to do this. I've just been asked to clean the toilets or I've just been asked to be on the greeting team. Nonsense. These are the roles we choose to do for the body of Christ to keep it functioning. But there's so much more which we can do. It doesn't limit God's ability to work through us. It doesn't limit God's ability to perform signs and wonders through you and I. So we see Stephen appointed as a deacon. We see him performing signs and wonders. And then we see him being arrested. We don't know actually the length of time from the start of this chapter to the end of this chapter, whether this is over a week or whether it's over a year. But we see Stephen's progression. And what I really want us to draw out of this is that we too can be Stephen's. We too can serve in practical ways. No one is too important to go onto the hands and knees and scrub the floor. And then also there's no job too lowly that means we can't go out and still share the gospel. Sharing the gospel is not just the roles of the leaders within the church. It's not just those with an apostolic gifting. It's actually for everybody to do. And then we know that Stephen did the right thing and yet he was still arrested. He was still challenged on what he's doing. And sometimes as Christians, we have a tendency to think, if I'm doing something for Jesus, then it will be okay. I shouldn't have any conflict. But we know this is not true for the Bible. What we do for Jesus, we do out of love for him. And we have to choose to face the consequences. For many countries, we know the consequences of this is torture. It's death. For us, the consequence might be somebody being rather critical of us, perhaps shouting at us or turning away from us. We need to be brave enough to speak the words that God has placed within our hearts. Let's be a Stephen, let's serve, let's speak, let's be willing to count the cost of our faith. Have a good day everybody.